This is the TrackVac 470. This is the ultimate leaf collection device for the solo operator. The TrackVac uses a 5.5 horsepower Briggs & Strand engine to pick up shredded leaves that the lawnmower has ground up. Here's the backstory on why I have the TrackVac. In the fall of 2002, I purchased my first commercial lawnmower, an Xmark Metro 48, along with the grass gobbler grass catcher. My first time out attempting to pick up leaves, making that first pass and realizing this is not the way to do this. There's got to be a better way. There's no dump site to my area, so owning a leaf loader is out of the question. The track vac will give the lawn a very clean appearance, picking up all leaves and debris. What's great about the track vac, once all the mounting hardware is attached, the unit comes on and off in a couple minutes with a few pins. Back in 2002, the county would pick up the leaves from the curb. So all I had to do was vacuum up the lawn with the track vac and dump it at the curb. While the county ended that process, I started using 55 gallon drum liners to collect the leaves and leave the bags at the curb. And then they canceled the plastic bags and then I switched to filling up trash cans and leaving at the curb for the county to pick up. And that's what I still do today. When it's time to empty the track vac, one simple latch and the trash can on a pivot dumps out. The 44 gallon brute trash can holds a good quantity of leaves. Since the leaves are heavily ground up, they're ready to be used in your compost pile or around your plants in the wintertime. This is the intended method of the track vac. Just running over leaves that are laying there, blown out from the woods, and just dumping the can. Since I have a lot more properties than I did in 2002 I have to service, I came up with a new method of using the track vac. This is the method I've been using for the past 10 years. Rather than trying to pick up this big pile of leaves and having to dump the can a bunch of times, I just grind these leaves up to basically powder and I pick up the remainder. And anything left over is so finely shredded that you can blow around the yard and the lawn will have a clean appearance when you're done. My plan is never to walk the whole property with the track vac as that's just a huge waste of time. I blew all the leaves out of the flower beds and consolidate them into one area. I just take the backpack blower and consolidate the leaves, get the mower cleaned off a little bit, put all the leaves back to the center so I can grind up some more. Now I'm ready to start up the track vac. You can see all the dust that comes out of the collection device and why you need to wear a respirator. You can see I, got, I don't have too much leaves to pick up, really just a trash can full. So I grind up the whole entire pile and all I have left is this little bit of remainder of stuff to clean up. Once I'm ready to start picking up leaves with the track vac, I go in a regular mowing pattern. I'm not trying to make stripes, just trying to eliminate the zigzag lines I made when I was grinding the leaves up. And after this is done, I take the backpack blower and I blow off the remainder and I have a clean finished product. What's great about using the grinding method is I took that whole pile of leaves and ground it into nothing and I only had to fill up one can and had a really clean finished product when I was done. And I didn't have to spend any time going to the dump, paying a dump fee and wasting all that time emptying the trailer. This is the TrackVac 470 and thanks for watching and have a great day.